Hi everybody, this is Diana from So Very Crafty, and I didn't think I'd get to this many videos this weekend, but I did, and here's another one for the holiday season. Um, I thought it would be fun to make this cute little two wine bottle carrying tote for um, giving gifts this holiday season, the gift of wine. I always find the gift of wine is the perfect gift for giving in the holidays or any time. I've used some really cute little snowman fabric for this project today, and it was uh, a remnant that I had left over from another project that I did. So as you can see, it doesn't take that much fabric to make this particular project, and it's a fun and functional little project to make and it does hold two wine bottles as you can see in separate little compartments so I hope you enjoy this little project today it is super simple it is a beginner sewing project for anyone with basic sewing skills can put this project together in no time at all in fact you can put it together in less than an hour um, less than half an hour if you're an advanced sewist. Um, it goes together quickly and easy and in no time. So I hope you enjoy this project and if you do, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, ring that bell for notifications, and get future notifications for other So Very Crafty videos um, that I will post on the YouTube channel. And if you like pictorial tutorials um, rather than the videos, head over to www.soverycrafty.com for loads more uh, sewing and crafting tutorials that you won't see here on the YouTube channel. Um, and some new quilting tutorials that I've just started learning how to do quilting and I've been putting what I've learned on the, the blog so you can um, start to learn to quilt along with me if you're interested. So let's get started on this basic little two wine bottle tote that anyone, and I mean anyone, with basic sewing skills can make. The first thing we do is we cut out our fabrics, and I've done that for you already here. All we need is two pieces of lining fabric that measure 13 inches by 12 and a half inches, two pieces of outer fabric that measure 13 inches by 12 and a half inches, and two pieces of fusible fleece that also measure 13 inches by 12 Sorry, my video stopped, and I'm just recording this to advise you of how to measure for the handles and the outer bag. And take your lining fabric so that uh, we are going to stitch along the sides and part way on the bottom so that we have an opening here on the bottom for when we turn this project right sides out. So I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and I'm just going to stitch straight, straight down the sides and the bottoms as I've stated and I'm going to come back. I'm not going to show you how to do that on the machine because they're just straight stitches and it's not a problem. And I'm going to use a 3 8 inch seam allowance for this project. So remember that 3 8 inch seam allowance. And I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have both of my pieces of outer fabric and my lining fabric that have been stitched together. Now what I'm going to do is we are going to box the corners. And this is a very simple process. We are going to take 
the bottom of our project, the corners, we are going to match up the side seam with the bottom seam. And we can open up these seams if it makes it easier. Just like that. And I like to look inside to make sure that my lines are in fact lined up and they are. I'm going to take a ruler and you can see that when you match the side seam to the bottom seam, you're creating a point. I'm going to measure two inches down from the point and I'm going to make a mark And then I'm simply going to draw a line directly across that two inch mark. I'm going to take some wonder clips here and just clip this to make sure that it stays in line. And I'm going to do that for all four of my corners. Now that we have our corners marked, all we're going to do is go over to the sewing machine and we are going to stitch a line across the line that we drew. And we're going to do that on each of our four corners. Uh, again, I'm not going to show this on the sewing machine today because there's no reason. This is just a straight stitch right across the corner, right where we drew our line. And I'll be right back. Okay, so now we have stitched our corners. We're just going to clip off the excess of this fabric so there's not a lot of bulk in our corners. And I'm gonna do this to all four corners. Just like that. I'm now going to turn our outer bag right sides out. And you can see that our bottom seam and our side seam look like one continuous seam on the bottom. I'm going to leave my lining bag wrong sides out for the moment. In the meantime, I'm going to create the straps for our carrying part of our bag. And all we're going to do here is we are going to fold these long raw edges to the center and press with a hot iron. Then we are going to fold in half again so that we have all those raw edges enclosed inside there and we're going to press again and then we are going to stitch on both sides of these long edges. So I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and just take care of that and we'll be right back. Okay, so now I have made my straps or my handles for my two bottle wine tote and I am going to just measure in 
two and a half inches from the side seam and I'm going to clip one end of my strap. I'm going to measure two and a half inches from my other side and clip the other side of my strap. And I'm going to do the same for the other side. I'm just going to head over to the sewing machine and I'm going to just tack these into place so that uh, they won't move for our next step. Okay, so now I have tacked these on so that they will stay in place while we move on to our next step. Now I'm going to take my outer bag and I'm going to place it inside of our lining bag. And as you will notice, our outer bag is still wrong sides out. So when we place these two bags together, they will be right sides together. And I'm going to match up these side seams. so that they look nice in our finished product. And I'm gonna make sure that my handles are inside of the bag. Now I'm using Wonder Clips for this, but you could use pins if you like. But I happen to like these Wonder Clips. I'll put a link to them uh, if you want to purchase them in the description section of the video just below. So if you want to buy, the, buy some of these, you can. Now I'm going to head back over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew all the way around the top using a 3 8 inch seam allowance so that we have a nice finished uh, top of our bag. Here I am over at the sewing machine and I have taken off my extension table and I just have my free arm. That's the best way to stitch this top of my bag. And again, I'm using a 3 8 inch seam allowance for this.
and that's it we have stitched the top of our bag so let's go back over to the workstation and go on to our next step now here we are back at our workstation and remember we have our opening that we left in our lining we're just going to reach in and pull out our outer bag through that opening so that we can turn this entire bag right sides out. And as you can see, our box corners are perfect just the way we want them. Now, you have a choice. You can stitch the opening closed here using ladder stitch or your machine. But since this is going to be buried deep inside our lining, uh, I'm just going to head over to the machine and stitch this opening closed real quick. So now our, our opening is closed and I'm going to stuff the lining into our outer bag. And you can see that our handles are right where they need to be. And all of our seams are lined up. Now what we need to do is top stitch all the way around the top to secure that lining so that it doesn't move around when we're pulling our wine bottles in and out. I'm just going to place some wonder clips around the top and then we're going to head over to the sewing machine and top stitch all the way around the top in the same way that we stitched the lining to the outer bag. So I'm not going to show that on the sewing machine, but I'm just going to go and run a quick top stitch around the top here, and then we'll move on to our next step. Okay, now we have top stitched our bag, and it looks like a basic tote. But what's going to turn this into our wine tote is we are going to find the center of our bag and I'm going to do that by just folding it in half, matching our side seams. And I'm going to place a pin right there. That's the center of our bag. I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to draw a straight line down the center of my bag. And I'm going to stop about six inches from the bottom. Now this is a heat erasable pen. So once I'm done, I'll just put, put a hot iron on there and that line will disappear. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to stitch a line through all the layers through both sides until I reach that six inch from the bottom mark and where I'll stop and back stitch and we will have finished this project. So let me head over to the sewing machine to do that. So here we are back at the sewing machine. We are getting our handles out of the way because we don't want to sew over them. We want to make sure that our bag is even at the top. Take out that pin. Stitch. And again, we're stitching through all layers. Back stitch because the bottles will be coming in and out of here, so we want to make sure it's a little strengthened. And then just stitch down the row.
stop, back stitch. And let's go back over to the workstation. Okay, so there we have it. We have finished our two bottle wine tote. All we have to do is add a couple of bottles of wine and we are ready to go to give this as the perfect gift or just to take some wine to a party and give this as a favor to the host or hostess. It is a reusable gift, of course, because it's fabric and it's washable and it is just a fun little project to make. Doesn't take any time at all. I hope you enjoyed this project today. It is a super simple little project that is made from a simple tote bag, uh, turning it into a two bottle wine tote with handles, easy peasy. Anybody can do this, so give it a try. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Ding that bell for notifications so that you can get notifications for future So Very Crafty videos. And if you like more sewing and crafting projects, head over to www.soverycrafty.com for loads more tutorials on sewing and crafting projects that you won't see here on the YouTube channel. And um, otherwise, I hope you all have happy holidays. Uh, I'm sure I'll see you before then. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this project, and I will see you all next time. Bye.